Welcome back, you zesty zucchinis, to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Randomizer, or the Zooter. In the last episode, we had just finished collecting Anju's cuckoos, and we're going to see what item she gives us. Ah, oh, thank you for finding my cuckoos. I have allergies, so I get goosebumps when I touch them. She gets those goosebumps every time. Yeah. We got a bloopy. Great. Spent five minutes of my life collecting her cuckoos for a blue rupee. Of course, this randomizer is off to a terrible start. I can't even believe this. But like I said, that's the name of the game. This randomizer can either be really nice to you, or it can be a complete jerk. Because, I mean, I've had a couple randomizers where I got the hook shot in the first four chests that you find in Mido's house. And then I've had some where I don't find a good item for a couple hours. You know, sometimes you're, sometimes you just, it's like going to the casino. You're gambling. Sometimes it can be really good. Sometimes it can be... A oh, terrible, terrible situation. But anyways, next thing we're going to do is we're going to collect uh, this heart piece by climbing up the Death Mountain Trail. There's not really much we can do here right now. Now, if we got the Goron Bracelet, we could open up Dodongo's Cavern, but we don't have that. If we get Zelda's Lullaby, we could <laughs> go and visit Darunia, but we don't have that. So, the only thing we can do on Death Mountain right now is collect this heart piece. Now, I'm almost like questioning whether or not it's worth coming up here to get this heart piece, but... Like I said, like, randomizers, they're just so random. Like, we might get a blue rupee, like we just got from Anju, or we might get the hook shot. Like, every single item is worth collecting, because you never know what you're going to get. Now, I did mention that every single chest in this game is randomized, so that does include every single chest inside every dungeon, every grotto, like, even those grottos in Hyrule Fields, um, like, every heart piece. Wow! Gosh! Too many blue rupees! This thing is being so mean to me! <laughs> I'm gonna go write an angsty Tumblr post about how the Zelda Rock Ocarina of Time randomizer was bullying me and how it hurt my feelings. Okay, real fast, I'm just gonna wait for it to become nighttime since the sun is setting. I thought Navi was the sun for a second. I was like, dang, the sun's really close for some reason. Did not mean to find out the Tech Tite's name. But I'm just gonna wait for it to become nighttime so we can go to the graveyard and play the grave digging game with Dompe. Now the randomizer is very kind in a lot of ways. One way it's kind is normally when you play the grave digging game with Dompe, those graves are all randomized and you have to like keep on digging up graves until you hopefully randomly get the heart piece. Well, the makers of this ROM knew that people don't want to have to just randomly go to every single grave and wait for Dompe to walk around. So they just made it so as long as you do the grave digging game with Dompe, you automatically get your prize the first time. So thank the Lord for that. Another way this game is nice is uh, the game you do with Skull Kid, where you have to replay the songs back to them. You have to remember the notes that they're playing. Normally, you have to do it three times, but fortunately, this randomizer is nice to make you only have to do it one time. So thank the Lord for that. It's, it's, it's way nicer in so many ways. Don't be the grave digger. I wonder what happened to his jaw to make it all like, like hingy. Like it's not even like completely connected to the hinges. All right, even though this looks like it's a heart piece, it's going to give us something random, and we get. Okay, I'll take it. Better than the blue rupees we've been collecting. And then we how we now have six hearts. Although I'm very very tempted to lower my hearts down so I can show you guys what sound effect we get. Although I don't even know what sound effect we'll have. It's randomized. I have all the settings set to randomize. So I really hope it's the ma-weep, ma -weep sound effect when we're low in hearts because that would just be hilarious. Let's go ahead and find out. Since these gold sculptures take away a full heart with each hit. They're so strong. Oh my gosh, it's the Navi sound effect. That's like the worst one we could get. That's so annoying. Hey, hey, Shut up, Navi! Hey, hey. <laughs> this is just torture. <laughs> I can't believe that we got the Navi sound effect. Now I'm super inclined to never get hit. Okay, I can't take this. This is just pure torture. I'm going to go ahead and drink our Lon Lon milk so we don't have to endure this for the next 20 minutes. I'm not sure if there's any hearts nearby. Might kind of be a waste of milk, but we still have two servings of the Lon Lon milk. I always thought it's really weird how the Lon Lon milk doesn't spoil, though. 
It must be some like really special sort of milk. Who knows? Just long, long cows. They're a special breed. I went to California last month and I went to a restaurant for my very first time. I had this drink called Orchata, which is pretty much, it tastes like cinnamon flavored milk. Although I don't think it's actual milk. Cause I don't know if it spoils or not. It probably does spoil. I'm probably really dumb. We also need to wait for it to become daytime or else Malin's not going to be out in her field. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for it to be daytime. All right, it's daytime, let's go inside. But I looked up to see what horchata was made out of, and no joke, the main, one of the main ingredients in horchata is tiger nuts. And I was like, mm, love drinking my tiger nut juice. <laughs> Gives you stripes or something like that. All right, well, we'll come back to Talon's mini game. Let's go talk to Malin first, because I want to see what song we get. Fingers crossed, it is Zelda's Lullaby. Some other songs I would accept are the it's like Requiem of Light that teleports you to Temple of Time. That's a really good teleport song. Or the Minuet Forest that so we can go to Saria right away. Or even Saria's song, that'd be pretty good as well. Look at this girl with her nice pretty red hair. Man, her voice just sounds so realistic. It doesn't sound synthesized whatsoever. Nope. Ah, cute Ocarina! Okay, we got the Prelude of Light. Oh, did I call it the Requiem of Light? I'm pretty sure I did. I'm sorry. I'm sure everybody watching right now is laughing their ass off at me. Okay. Let's mark that one. Another song got. <laughs> so sparkly. Oh, look at Epona. She loves us. She keeps nuzzling us. Nuzzle, 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 nuzzle. I guess... We could call this game now a nuzzle lock. <laughs> uh. All right, let's see what's back in this random stable. I always thought the stable was in the most like random place. It's like in the very, very backside of Lala Ranch. Like who would ever even want to walk all the way back here? But we got some crates of what I'm guessing is milk, which I don't know. I mean, I feel like this should be refrigerated. I'm not sure if it's just me. I mean, maybe this maybe this stable is refrigerated. I don't know. Maybe there's cold air coming out of that window up there. Who knows? But let's go ahead and collect this heart piece back here. Okay, please give me something good. I need just one good item. Just one. Empty bottle. Okay. We have, I think, Ruto's note is inside. That's pretty good because now we can get to... Lord Jabu Jabu whenever we can get to Zora's Domain, which we can't get to Zora's Domain yet. Because in order to get inside the domain, you either have to get Zelda's Lullaby so you can play... Well, actually, to get to Zora's Domain, you need either two or three things. You either need the bomb so you can break the rocks in Zora's River and then get up to Zora's Domain. And then you need Zelda's Lullaby to get inside. Or you can get the Silver Scale and swim inside Zora's Domain through Hyrule Lake. I think there's a Sculptula in here. I really need to start collecting the Sculptulas. I've kind of been holding off on collecting some Sculptulas because the only way we can kill them is with our Deku Sticks and we don't have a lot of those. But I guess we can buy quite a few now. Another thing I would not be upset about collecting is the Deku Stick upgrades so we can get a full 20 amount of Deku Sticks. It'd be freaking great. Oh look, there's a cock on Talon's cock. That's gay! Whenever I go to Chinese restaurants, you know how they have like these like maps or placeholders that show what animal represents what year you were born? Oh, three out of three, look at that. Golly, I'll be darned, it's plum incredible. Well, I was born in 1993 and 1993 is the year of the cock, according to <laughs> those placeholders. And it literally says year of the cock and I'm all for being born in the year of the cock. <laughs> Wow! Jeez! Ah! No! We haven't gotten one useful item yet! We're sort of starting to run out of places we can go. Now, I haven't mentioned this yet, but it is always possible to win. You're never going to be screwed over. There's always an item you can get that will allow you to progress through the game. But right now, we're just not getting any of the items that allow us to progress very far, so we're having to collect every single possible chest and 
than we can collect at this point. Um, I'm thinking about going back to Hyrule Castle real fast because there's quite a few things we can do there and we're almost there. I could probably just teleport since I have the Prelude of Light, but we're right here. Gotta collect our red rupees. I personally feel like those red rupees being up there is a little bit overpowered because it kind of makes a lot of the other money in the game pretty much unimportant because you can grind as many red rupees there as you want. But at the same time, I guess it was not really common knowledge. So, side fact, one thing I never noticed until playing this game yesterday was one of the heart pieces you get from this lady is during the nighttime you have to bring her dog to her. And when I was younger, I always wondered, like, how do you know which dog is hers? I just now realized that she's playing with her dog in the market during the daytime. Her little Richard, wherever it, wherever it is. Where's her little Richard? I saw him hopping around. There he is. A little, little guy. Yeah. I just now noticed that she's playing with him during the daytime. I'm super unobservant for some reason. But the real reason we're here is we're going to play the target shooting mini game. Now, it still allows you to play this, even if you don't have the slingshot. So that's kind of interesting. I'm not sure if that should be something that you should be able to do, but no, I'll take it. Because there's another thing we're able to collect. Hopefully I can get this first try. <laughs> the very first time I did it, I played the randomizer, I did get a first try. And then the second time I played, it took me like 10 tries. I don't know how I got worse. No! Dang it! Okay. Wonderful! Bravo! Perfect! Dang, all those exclamation points. Here's the fantastic present. <laughs> wow. I mean, that is kind of fantastic. Now we can beat Ganondorf. Although we don't even have the bow or magic meter yet. That is something else you can get randomized is, I didn't mention this yet, but all of the fairy fountains in the game are randomized. But we can't do any of the fairy fountains as well until we get Zelda's Lullaby. Look at this guy, look at this lady right here. She's just kind of like working at her core. She's always doing some like core exercises, moving back and forth. That's why her waist is so teeny. She's she's getting it. You do you, girl. Mm. All right. Oh! Gotta wait for the iconic wolf howl. Okay, the reason we're waiting for it to be nighttime is so we can collect little Richard over here and take it back to her mother. Hey, Richard, come with me, little guy. I hope that's the one following me. It is. Fantastico. Oh, and then there's also this mini game over here, which we can finish if we get the Lens of Truth. I wonder if that would be really, really cool if they put the Lens of Truth at the as the reward for that game. <laughs> that way you can't get the Lens of Truth unless you successfully guess your way through the guessing game. Richard! Also, for those of you who don't know, Richard is a long version of the name Dick. So yes, this lady named her dog Dick. <sighs> I'm just not gonna even say anything. Oh, but look at look a little dick. He's such a good boy. Man, we have so much just dick and cock in this episode. Just, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess that's a really good representative of representation of who I am as a person. Um, <laughs> I mean, what? Okay, now we're gonna have to wait for it to become daytime again so I can get out of here, or we can go ahead and be adult Link. No, I think I'm going to because. Most of the chests we can get right now, we can also get as Adult Link, but we can also get a lot more chests as Adult Link. So let's go ahead and do this. I still think this is like a blatant copy of the Sword of the Stone. I found out yesterday that that movie came out in 1963, so Zelda completely got its inspiration from that. But it's okay, most art is inspired by other art. Wow, the White Tunic looks really cool on Adult Link. <laughs> Although it doesn't, I mean it kind of just goes exactly with his tights now. How come Adult Link wears tights? He needs to be showing off them thighs. That's what I would do if I was him. I don't know, maybe Link doesn't have great thighs in Ocarina of Time. Now, if we're talking about Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild Link is hot. I think everybody can agree on that. Have we collected anything of use in this episode? Oh, wait. I forgot to mark off my light arrows. That's right. I almost forgot. But now that we're adult Link, there's a few, ne a few new things we can do. One of which is go and do the Dompe races in the graveyard so let's go ahead and do that there's quite a few things we can do we can also get the song of storms along with since we had the song of time we could also get the heart piece that's inside the windmill so let's go ahead and just do that whole myriad of things 
So the other nice thing about being Adult Link is we get our Master Sword. So we finally have a weapon. Because you just get that from pulling it. Unlike the Kokiri Sword. So we can finally do things. Unfortunately, most of the Skulchulas in Kokiri Village... Or Kakariko Village, I'm not sure why it's called Kokiri Village. They don't even appear as Adult Link, which is kind of dumb. Actually, is the one on the back of this house here as an adult? Nope. Yeah, most of them are here as a kid. I'm not sure why that is, but it's a thing. But first things first, let's get our Song of Storms, which is going to be randomized. Everyone's... Oh my gosh, this guy is just so angry looking. The original Dick in the Box guy. What? You got an ocarina? What the heck? What's the what the what the what? Yes! Woo! Hallelujah! We finally got something that's somewhat helpful to us. We get Zelda's Lullaby, which opens up a lot more things. I'm really happy we turn into Adult Link. Oh, thank God. That's going to be so nice. And even though we didn't actually play the Song of Storms, it still speeds up the windmill. Man, it's so great just seeing how... I just like seeing how different sequence breaking and stuff happens when you collect different items. You just kind of look at this game from a whole different standpoint. It's so much fun to me to play a game I've beaten so many times, but have to think about it with a completely new strategy. That's what I love about this randomizer. I think the game, that, the randomizer that's the most popular is A Link to the Past. But I was never able to really get into Link to the Past randomizer because, I don't know, I just never played Link to the Past that much as a kid. It was never a game I owned. I've beaten the game once, but I don't know the game well enough to make, know where all the treasure chests and everything are. But Ocarina of Time was my first Zelda game and the game I kind of grew up on, so I know it like the back of my hand. <sighs> we have not gotten like one good item yet from a chest. At least we just got Zelda's little buy, so this episode isn't completely a big waste. Okay, let's go ahead and race Dompe, our favorite hunchbacked ghost. It looks very similar to Quasimodo. I was always curious if Quasimodo was the inspiration for Dompe. If you don't know who that is, it's the hunchback from the movie Hunchback of Notre Dame, which is my favorite Disney movie, by the way, if you, if you didn't know that. I'm in love with that movie. It's just, the soundtrack is awesome. The animation is phenomenal. I love the environment. Like the cathedrals are just so cool and unique. They're so large. There's so many compartments. Like when I was a kid, I always wanted to play hide and go seek in one of those cathedrals because they were just so huge. And now I just want to watch that movie again. I've seen it so many times because like, I used to watch Disney movies so much growing up. Like whenever I talk to my mom, she always just like kind of makes fun of how much I used to watch those movies. Dompe. Hit me with fire. What a jackhole. Oh, you know the re-deads. Nightmare fuel is what I like to call them as well. Alright, so we get normally you normally get the hook shot for beating it the first time. And then if you do it a second time and beat it in under a minute, you get a heart piece. But we'll see what we get this time. The time of this race was 103. You don't say. And what should we get? None other than... Din's fire. Okay, I will take that. Because now we can light torches and stuff like that. Except we can't use it because we don't have the magic meter. I forgot. You have to get the magic meter. I'm so sad now. But so, I mean, it'll be nice to have that in the future, I guess, but... As of right now, it's completely useless for us until we get our magic meter, and only God knows when we'll get that. The first- Oh my gosh, you scared me! <laughs> came back. Gosh, my brother just came in and scared the crap out of me. Because he just came in and he's like, HEY! I'm like, Whoa. Anyways, let's go ahead and collect this heart piece. Hopefully we get something useful. If we can get one useful item in the second episode, I will be thankful. Just one useful item, please. We're either gonna get this one, and then before I end the episode, I'm gonna do the Dompe race a second time. And get that heart piece. Whoa! Your defensive power has been enhanced. Okay, this isn't the most useful thing for me right now, but that does give us the white outline in our hearts, which means that we have double damage. So now we have 12 hearts instead of six. 
So, I mean, that's not bad. It's not gonna really help us progress through the game that much, but now we're really, really strong and probably don't have to ever worry about dying, which is nice, I guess. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward myself doing the second Dompe race because I don't think you guys wanna watch it a second time. And I'll see you at the end. We're almost there. Oh my gosh, can I make it? Oh no, one second! You've gotta be kidding me! What? I didn't get hit once, I was doing so well. Okay, well, the best way to reset yourself so you don't have to like walk all the way through again is, did she just tell us to go to the Great Naked Tree again? Come to this door and you quickly go left, right, and you lock yourself in and it teleports you back to the beginning. If you don't do that, you have to walk all the way back around, which kind of sucks. <sighs> I don't know how I lost that, but here we go again. No, don't bonk. Please don't bonk on me. We're almost there. I'm taking like every single shortcut I know. I'm rolling whenever I can. I'm trying to cut all the corners. I haven't got hit by the fire. I have 10 seconds. If I don't do it this time, I'm going to be so mad. Come on. Oh yeah, we definitely got it this time. Okay, awesome. And we get... Boomerang! Yes! Way to end this episode on a high note. We finally got an item that's somewhat useful. Now we can use the boomerang as Young Link to collect the Skulltula tokens, which is going to be super useful. So next time we turn into Young Link, we'll be able to collect all the Skulltulas. We can kill them, get their tokens, and life is going to be so much better. Whew. Glad we got to end this on a high note, because there's levels to this. You and I know, bitch. Be humble. See you later. And be humble. <laughs> Sit down. Be humble. Sit down. Hold up, bitch. Be humble. Mean, but they're rolling with us. Don't intervene. Ugh. You know we're acting wild, looking so bizarre. People rolling with us, cause we are who we are. So come party with us if you wanna jam. If you get it, if you get a head, bop that. <laughs>